Hi guys, welcome back to Piping Welding and DT channel. So this video is regarding um, 45 degrees isometric offset. Okay, I will draw a um, uh, vertical and horizontal shadow and we will convert it to 45 degrees a flan view. Okay, so first is So this is our north. So this is very important. You must know where's where is the orientation north thing. Okay. So first drawing. And this is our line. Okay. And we will, f I will put here and shadow. So this is a vertical shadow. Okay. And next is so this is our line. Okay. And this is also a vertical shadow okay and we will convert it this vertical shadow in the flan view okay so first this one okay we will convert it this so we have number one and two so number two we will convert it this one in the flan view so in the flan view this is our north thing in the flan view okay so this is our north thing and this is a flan view and a flan view for this line is like this okay we have a lab dotted line here and we have half C okay, and another half C here and we have another a dotted line here so this is a flan view for this vertical shadow okay it the meaning of this vertical shadow is a 45 degrees okay so next is number one so this number one we will convert it this in the flan view so in the flan view line and then half C again two because this is this line is going up okay going up And we have also an half C there and we have a dotted line. It means this is going down. Okay. So this is a conversion from the isometric drawing and the plan view. So this is all a type of 45 degrees offsets. Okay. So next is another example of this vertical shadow. So 
So again, here is our norting. And box. Okay. And this is our line. Joint, joint, and this is our shadow. So this is also a vertical shadow. Okay. And we will convert it this one for the flan view. So this line. And another dotted line there. Dotted. Hopsy. And another hopsy and dotted line. So this is a conversion of plan view. Okay. So another one is this one for the horizontal shadow. So this is the horizontal shadow line so this is the example of horizontal shadow and for the flat view this is the plan view okay So this is 45 degrees offset and 45 degrees flan view. So thanks for watching guys and have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi guys, welcome back to Piping, Welding and Duty channel. So this is isometric drawing and I will show you how to determine this all shadowing here in isometric drawing. So if we can see, we have a lot of shadowing on this isometric drawing. Okay, so how you determine if this is a vertical or horizontal shadow? Okay, in practical, if you are confusing for this all shadow, you must create box. So this is a technique to determine whether you are confusing to determine this all shadowing. And of course, um, elevation. Okay, check all the elevation. Okay. So on this ISO, So we have that this is S4, okay, a symbol of supports, and so this is a shadow, okay. So check the elevation, check the elevation, okay. This is the elevation, 52963. And check also another elevation from here. This is 50963. So this is an horizontal, okay? So they have a um, millimeter going down. Because we have a 50963 and this one is pipe 2 so they have a slope okay check another one shadow so pipe 0963 and we will check here the elevation of other okay you see this is 50963 and 50963. It means this is an 
horizontal shadow okay so this is horizontal and other one horizontal also but they have an slope 52 and 50 okay so this is how to determine the slope okay and we will check it another one another one shadow so on this shadow on this shadow the dimension from here and from here is the same one one five one 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 five one so it means it means this is a 45 okay we will check here the elevation this is elevation five one one seven and another one is five one one zero okay here is five one one seven and the another one is five one one it means this is also have an slope okay going here the slope so this is the example of shadowing from the isometric and determine whether this is vertical or horizontal so they have a symbol also there support so this is support okay and we will check also the other one shadowing okay so this is a shadow also so this is a lot of a shadow for this isometric and we will check here the 5117 and 5117 so this is horizontal and they have no slope okay so this is all horizontal shadow okay if you see also this one symbol this is a flow direction okay this small triangle there so that's all for now guys and thanks for watching have a nice day see you next time guys bye bye hi guys welcome back to piping welding and dt channel so this is an angle computation and we will find it the length of sight which is given is uh, degrees and also the one sides of uh, any and open an angle okay so for this uh, angle we have a travel and we have a set and of course we have a run so these computations if your category is a 5 feeter this is a number one if it important computation okay why so uh, before you are uh, before you are five feet there you must memorize it and learn it this angle formula or computation and of course during um, interview sometimes this is an interviewing this angle computation okay let's say I will interview for you let's say I have a question to you and we have a given of travel 45 and the question is set and run okay 
and the given of degrees is 9 degree so we first we will compute it the set okay next is run so to find set the formula for set is set equals travel multiply it to sign okay. using this my calculator I will show you how okay travel is 45 so multiply it to sign 9 degrees so this is the answer for the set 7 okay so we have number 1 already done this is set point 0 so this is that one is the answer for the set next is run we will compute this run okay so to find that travel again multiply it to make it sine to cosine if this is a question sine if this is a question cosine okay so 45 multiply it to cosine 9 degree so that is the answer 44.4 40.4 point 44.4 point. okay so we will check it if our answer is correct so now we will find is we will check if our answer is correct we will find this 9 degrees okay so we will divide it the set and the travel to find that Okay, our set is 7 divided to 45 so equals so press the shift and sign okay this is correct so our answer is 8.9 so round up it this is 9 degrees okay so this is how to compute it and check it if your answer is correct now we will use it this run so we will find it again this 9 degree just divide it 44.4 okay 44.4 divided to travel 45 just press the ship and cosine see our answer is 9 degrees so our answer all for this question set and run is correct okay so that's all for now guys and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe in and if you have a comment just leave a comment and have a nice day see you my next videos bye bye